Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve this simple neutral makeup look. I used the Hidden Beauty Rose Gold Nail Stud Palette and I took the brown orangish tone from the palette as my transitional shade. And when I'm done with that, I took the deeper shade brown tone from the palette as well to deepen my crease. And the last but not the least shade from the palette is the deep tone brown shade in the palette to deepen my crease as well so when i'm done with that i move ahead and apply to the mac fixing medium the bigger bottle one not the small one so yeah the liquid one so i apply that as a concrete shape in a concrete shape i mean and i use the metal metalist high shine bouncy cream eyeshadow palette by touching so i am a huge huge fan of this palette guys the shade in this palettes are so so creamy and yet they're so so you know bow power on your face look at that guys I am a huge huge fan so yeah I apply that on my lids I actually used two shades from the palettes which I showed you guys in the beginning this other shade is like golden brown tone I don't know if that makes sense but I used two shades which Obviously, it's my favorite shades from the palette, but the palette is so, so nice for the price. I mean, the pigment is amazing and about power on the lids. So, yeah, I moved ahead and applied my liquid liner by Tri Cosmetics. And at the same time, I used the same brand product to, you know, brighten my inner corner. So, when I'm done with that, then I applied my lashes. As you guys already know that one of my favorite eyelash brands is Kiss. So yeah, I use the Kiss lashes in number, I can't remember the number, I'll try and put it in the description box below if I can, but if not, but the lashes that I use was actually by Kiss. Then I moved on to the face, which is by priming my face, face. <laughs> the the product I use is by Becca Cosmetics, it's their Shimmery Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. I really like the finish it gives to my skin, not too glowy, not too oily, it's just on the perfect side. And one of my current favorite foundation, which is by Smashbox, I really really like this you know, foundation. It's full coverage, it's beautiful, and yeah. I'm just hoping <laughs> that I'll get the right, I'll go into store to shade match to get the perfect shade for me. So yeah, when I'm done with that, I apply the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer and I use that to highlight the areas that are on my face. <laughs> I just use that to highlight my face, like contour and highlight it, that makes sense. So when I'm done with that, I applied the Milk Makeup Setting Powder on to the areas where I apply the concealer just to set it in place so when I'm done with that I use the Anastasia Beverly Hill contour kit to contour my face I use the darkest shade in the palette so yeah and I use that to contour my face so yeah that's the palette right there so I use that to contour my face I really quite like this palette a lot it's so so creamy and yet it blends in well into the skin look at that just perfect I like it <laughs> so when I'm done with that I applied the what's it called Urban Decay setting spray on my face and I applied my blush I think I applied my blush first <laughs> which is by Bella Perry and that's the palette right there I applied that on my cheeks I love this it's so subtle and the uh, you know the, the blush blends in really well on the skin and the color is really very light and subtle on the skin as well not that foul foul kind of blush which is why I really like it a lot so I sprayed the Urban Decay setting spray on all night and setting spray on my face guys bear in mind that this you know part of the spray you know when I lost the clip really I lost the clip so yeah I lined my lips with the Huda Beauty lip liner and I applied the Pixie Beauty liquid lipstick which I'll leave the details of the products that I use 
in the description box below and that is it that's the finished look guys easy peasy lemon squeezy bow bow what do you guys think anyway thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one bye